Hello everybody, I hope you're having a great day. Z here, coming to you with a little bit of Starfield inside from an article that is online at comicbook.com. <laughs> Apparently there was some stuff that Tom Howard was going through with this interview and I'm going to go through it for you quickly. Before I do, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video because it helps me out a great deal. Without further ado, let's get into this Bethesda hints at the length of the very big star field. And I'm going to read the article and then give some thoughts while the trailer plays in the background repeatedly. Starfield is going to be a very big and long game, which should come to no surprise to those who have played Bethesda Game Studios previously, such as Elder Scrolls and Fallout franchise. How big and how long Bethesda, Bethesda <laughs> isn't quite sure, but during a recent interview with Bethesda Game Studios, Tom Howard, the director of Starfield, came forward and said the game is very big and designed to be played for a long time. However, it doesn't sound like it's going to be anything above and beyond what the studio has done in the past. I feel like this is my little personal insight is if that were the case, they would have already have said so. I don't want to set any crazy expectations for that. I know we have critics and we have cities and we build them. I'm sorry about that. And we've uh, built a lot of them before. Um, and he talks about how the game approaches the cities. And we have lots of different locations that we have buildings like we've built before. And we want the experience of those exploring to be like, you know, rewarding as we've done before. So like in other games, they have other cities. I would expect when you use Skyrim as a reference. We've built a ton of cities like Skyrim. And they're going to feel familiar to you, sort of, like in a uh, Starfield type atmosphere. So keep that in mind. There are some different spins on given subject matters. I'm assuming like, uh, you know, like the Dark Brotherhood and factions or guilds. I'm assuming that's kind of like what he's getting into. It's going to be more Starfield-esque, which ones. Um, and that's what we like about the game. And we wanted to point in the direction and walk and have our curiosities peaked and hopefully rewarded. So like he wants you to be curious around the world. He noted that the game is very big. People are still playing Skyrim today. And we have learned that we spend more time building Starfield and having it be built to be played for a long time. So if you do choose to want to keep playing, you got some more things that'll hook you in and added like a game like Skyrim that like people are still playing it and there's someone who if you just want to play through it and you want to do the main quest and you want to feel like you've won something and you've accomplished something and it's very doable that's doable part of it it's not this like huge gigantic thing considering that the main Skyrim quest line was considerable to 30 to 40 hours I know that like realistically if you just did the story it'd be like 10 um, like straight through story mission after mission it'd be about 10 hours but they're saying about 40 100 hours to beat all the side quests and 231 hours to 100% Skyrim and they're saying it's considerable to that so this is where I'm going to kind of elaborate onto my own thoughts and say well if that's the case I put like a couple thousand hours into Skyrim I think it was the only game I played from like 2011 to when I went to college three years later. It was the only game I bought and it was the only game I played and I still never 100%ed it. So if there's enough content and variability and play styles there, I could definitely see Starfield, a game that is being played for a large amount of time. Definitely could be played for a large amount of time. So with that being said, I would consider Starfield to be about as big, maybe a little bit smaller than Skyrim in scale and have sort of the same, you're going to have two factions or whatever that you can join, maybe three, like six to eight little cities is my expectation that you can go explore. Just going off of what uh, Skyrim is and what Fallout is. Fallout's a little different because like, I feel like the major cities weren't as fleshed out as Skyrim's was. Like each one had a definitive identity in Skyrim, where in Fallout it wasn't quite the case. So I'm hoping it's more in a Skyrim direction in that case. And that's kind of what I would expect. I would expect like a 15 to 25 mission story 
or story campaign mission yeah 15 to 20 missions to beat the campaign and then i would expect about 115 hours worth of total side quest content and then i would expect about 200 hours of 100 percent content we don't know necessarily anything about skills or any of that jazz so i'm not going to elaborate on that i'm just talking about the scale i would just like basically put it one to one in skyrim and then put it in a space environment i'm extremely excited for this game tell me what you think of the scale of starfield and what the scale of starfield is going to be in the future and i will be covering more starfield content in the future so if you're looking forward to that please like and subscribe for more starfield news whenever it may be as long as like all along well, as long along with all my other content keeping that in there i don't care but most importantly most importantly i want you to have a great day